Hello guys and welcome to a new video. I hate doing this but many of you have been requesting my settings so here they are. I said this before and I'll say it again. Copying someone else's settings, especially the sensitivity, won't necessarily make you a better player. It might actually make you worse. Yes, you can get lucky and you happen to have the same playstyle as the other player, but even if you do, you should know that the perfect sensitivity is the one you make for yourself. I'll do my best to make a video explaining how you can make your own sensitivity. But that will take some time and I don't think I'll be able to make it soon. Moving on to the gameplay, I have my first ever game in the new season and I'm really loving the ground loot guns rotation. It's by far the best in a very very long time but sadly it also came with new bugs and issues that I hope they fix soon. So anyway we have yet another aggressive game on isolated. I'm sure you guys noticed that the lobbies are on fire right now as everyone is excited to try the new update and even though I'm with randoms this game was purely solo versus squads as all of my teammates gave up and left the game. So for this game I'll be using the OTS for close range even though it's not the best SMG it's my favorite right now. As for mid to long range I'm still using the AK117 which in my opinion is the best AR in the game right now. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. This guy was lagging so hard it's like he was possessed by a demon. What high pink players don't realize is that yes it's a big disadvantage but it also makes you harder to hit. As you guys saw most of my bullets didn't register there. And there were so many times where I lost similar fights where none of my bullets hit and then all of a sudden I get one tapped back to the lobby. Your teammate has been killed. Get the dog tags and help them return to the battle. Dog tags have been scanned successfully. Your teammate will return to the battle when I next provide my fire.
You guys have no idea how happy I am to see the PPSH back as a ground gun. It's very reliable and you don't have to worry about finding an extender mag. But since I had a golden mag, I took the QQ9 instead as it has much faster killing time. Your teammate is on the revive flight. I was planning to get my teammates dog tag, but he left. And honestly, I'm glad he did. So my next objective was to get my loadouts, and now it was time to hunt. Their the drop is coming. Engaging the enemies. Airdrop has been delivered. Chip terminal is almost ready. I don't know if you guys noticed this kill message effect. For me, this is one of the best additions they made in this season. It looks so clean. And you can get it by ranking up your gun in the leaderboard. So I got one for the AK-117 and another one for the QQ-9. Drop is coming. The revived flight will arrive. This was really bad. Not only I destroyed my heli, but it damaged me in the process while the zone was closing. Luckily, the other squad was busy with another squad, and I smoked my way in to block their vision, and just in case there's someone else waiting for me inside the zone.
last 5 2 zone is collapsing. Chasing the enemy here was very risky as there was a sniper shooting from the back and he had a good angle on me so I had to ignore him and switch my focus to the sniper since he was more of a threat than the enemy in front and at the same time I avoid being sandwiched I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then kindly leave a like on your way out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.